I've seen, um, I was watching a Kanye documentary on Netflix and he said something, he said he was walking to the train station because he didn't have no car reciting his Grammy speech. Now, we can say all we want about the answers we see or what he say in public, whatever. At the end of the day, the man's a billionaire and if you watch that story, he was an underdog, which is absolutely the type of stories that I love. I love a come up story, man. I love I love this, the, the fairy tale ending, but basically watching it, his process to being a billionaire. He was told he wasn't a rapper. Grammy award winning albums were producing and rapping. Tons of awards for his productions, tons of awards for him rapping and quite frankly being one of the best lyricists of our time. Let's keep it real. I don't know what y'all listen to, but I'm just gonna be honest. So, it all takes it back. And the reality didn't really hit me, man, until we went to the Army. When people actually view me as somebody that they wanted to take a picture with. So, I, I used to have that feeling when I was fighting MMA and things like that. People always kind of looked because I was a muscular guy. But when people actually respect and love the content that I put out, and me being on in a, in a, in a sea full of the most ripped, the most strong human beings, but they still rock with me. It's just gotta take some things in it. It's, it's, it's sometimes hard to take in, but I appreciate the, the love and support. And again, I, I will always play the underdog. I, I, I love it. Y'all call me stuff that I don't deserve. Y'all call me legend. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. But to me, I'm still gonna try to climb, man. So appreciate all the love and everything everybody say. Merch coming soon, like I said. And yes, I did finally switch my grip. So those of y'all who told me I should have switched it, you was right. Take life for granted because you feel like tomorrow's promise and it's not. So if you never experienced a near-death experience, I do know this. I do know you know somebody who died before they time. But y'all say, well, you know, when it's your time, it's your time, which is right. But but you do know somebody who died young. You do know somebody who, if they didn't die young, they probably lived a life to where they had great ideas and they go in the grave with them. Nobody understood how great they was. So by the way some of y'all talk, I understand that y'all really, y'all really think tomorrow's promise, that y'all really think that next breath is promise. Car accidents happen. They said the percentage is closer to your house than it is far away. So you can be taking your butt home from the grocery store, get a car, and your life changed forever. My father paralyzed. Just like that. I almost lost my life. Just like that. Medically induced coma. Two cardiac arrests. Lost 67 pounds. Uh, turned around and had to... Oh, excuse me. I lost 88 pounds. My bad. Turned around, had to had to re retrain myself to walk. That all happened like that. Pop. I came out there. Told you I was gonna shock the world. I did. I dropped the weight on my chest. My biggest disappointment, man, from that whole situation is, is not showing up in my fool, so gotta gotta make it happen. Gotta make it gotta make it right. So today, Pop, I gave you 30 on 315. 40 with 225. I'ma keep chopping it down with this 135. So I hope that makes up for just a little bit. Cause I'm coming. Hey. May 20th, my head right, my body right. I learned a lot. I switched my grip. Shout out to everybody who was hating. I said you should do 
traditional grip, you stupid. Y'all right. Hey, look, I ain't no, I ain't no egotistical guy. I was stuck in my ways, but so 315 for 30, two, right after 225 for 40. I made this 135, and Iron Wars, we coming, man. Say what you want. Them some damn good lifts for little old me. Tell them, Pop. <laughs>